In today's video, I will be showing how to make a simple stylized burger using Maya and Substance Painter. This is one which is simple enough that you should be able to follow along using any other 3D modeling program such as Blender. Alright, let's get to it. First, I start with a cube to create the buns. This may seem counterintuitive as a cube is really not the shape closest to a bun, but lucky for us, just by smoothing the model we can get a rounder shape out of it. I did not use a cylinder in this case because that would have given us a pointy top once we started to shape it, so in this case it actually was more appropriate to use a cube. I used the same primitives for some of the rest of the models. I also removed any unnecessary geometry which will not be visible in the end as well. If you have a model which will not be seen from every angle or be separated into pieces, then you don't really need to texture every single section, which is why it's a good idea to just remove that geometry. For everything else, I continued to use cubes while smoothing them in order to get the shapes I wanted. I also reduced the poly count for each section, but keep in mind you could go much further than I did in this regard. Next, I created the UVs mainly by applying a planar map to the whole object and adding UV cuts where appropriate. Typically, I add my cuts where there is a near 90 degree angle change in the geometry. In this case, the models are fairly organic, but I still try to add those cuts along the edges. I also straightened some of the sections to make it easier to pack and so that it would be easier to draw or apply a pattern on them. Finally, I manually packed the UVs so they used as much space as possible. After that, I renamed all the models to use the underscore low suffix and also duplicated some of the veggies around the model. I also offset the UVs for those by one in the UV quadrant. For the high poly, I duplicated the original group and simply smoothed those models and exported that as the high poly. In Substance Painter, I loaded the low poly and baked the high poly details to it. I used the Baked by Mesh Name option in the bake settings. For the material, I used the 3DX Stylized Smart Material 2.0, for which there is a link to in the video description. I changed the main color and also made duplicates for each section of the model. I also changed the roughness values for almost every piece as well. It's important to create visual interest on your models, not just by color alone, but also by having variation in the roughness amount for each section of the model. After I was done with some of the settings for each layer, I added an extra layer with fill information and height so that I could add more detail to some sections of the model, such as the patty. <music> 
Lastly, for the top seats, I used a Stitch Alpha that comes with Painter and changed some of the settings so that I could use that to randomly add some seats. I changed the settings to include random angle jitter as well as spacing. This made it a lot easier to apply this on the model. Ok, so here's the final render in Marmoset Toolbag. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and check out the links in the video description. I will also be leaving you here with a video at the end with a pretty useful course which I made recently. Thank you all and I hope to see you in the next video. Would you like to learn the process for making simple stylized environments from scratch? Well, you see making something like this is actually really simple. All you need is a 3D modeling program such as Maya or Blender and put it all together in Unreal 5, which is free to use. Hey, this is only a 45 second ad so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. Click on the link below now and I will show you the exact process I used to make this simple environment. When you click that link, I will show you the steps for making an environment like this one in very little time. I will be showing you the modeling, block out of the level in Unreal 5, and also how to set up things like grass and leaves as well as the final lighting for your level. Like I said, this is a short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything here. Click the link below now so I can show you the steps. Also, I don't know how long this will be up for, so click the link below now so you don't miss out.